Amen, amen. Amen. I want to say that. <laughs> Good morning, saints. Good morning. Giving honor to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. All yes, praises Lord. to the Trinity. Yes. To our pastoral conglomerate of Pastor Scott Gale and Assistant Pastor Williams. Yes, right. The House of Job. Amen. Those who are here and her not here. Now, you know, I usually come up with a word and it's interesting, very simple. The word actually is slaughter and in the Bible I pulled it from Acts there's a lot of things that go on in Acts and you see it around chapter 9 and it was coming from the heart of a man named Saul and many of you have read this I'm sure it's after the death of Stephen the martyr you know Stephen was stoned to death and when he was stoned, he actually prayed, and then he died. And after that, Saul wished for the rest of the church to be sent to the slaughter. He had nothing but slaughter on his mind after this. The interesting thing isn't even that story to me. It's what happened before. You know, last week, Pastor Brandon came in, Assistant Pastor Brandon, he preached about what happened at the Pentecost. And how when everyone had come into one accord, they had given all, they had prayed, they had given thanks, and the Spirit hit. And they went out. They preached. They spoke in tongues. Peter and John went and accused the Sanhedrin and the, the, the entire sect of killing Jesus. They were thrown in jail. They were released. They went to the temple to preach. They were stoned and thrown in jail again. They were released. And at that time, Stephen's story begins. See, what actually happened was the church started, and it became effective. Yes. They began walking in what Christ had said to them, and they became public enemy number one. Yes. See, I remember hearing a theologian say something that most people don't realize about Christianity. Everything Jesus said to anyone who did not believe in him was offensive. It's like Christianity in its very nature of standing against the world is offensive to anyone who will hear it. When you begin walking in the purpose of God, you become a walking offense to everyone who does not know and love God. Amen. And they will come for you and they will wish you to go to the slaughter one way or another. Because the God in you shows them just how much value they have in their own worth. That's right. And that is what I have for you today. I just... Pray that God blesses us all with what we've heard and that we continue with the awesome service. God bless. Amen.